Hey guys, it is Briar Trot here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So, something I feel like everybody has done in quarantine except for me is paint a horse. Uh, it's a nice little pastime and I guess I just never got around to it. I've been home for more than a month now and I just was always, from the beginning, wanted to just try and paint a little stable mate. I have like 10 bodies that I'm not really sure what I'm doing with. So I decided to take the scroll and we are going to try and make her a nice little bay. So I am not an artist whatsoever, um, but I do like to have fun with it. I painted a horse sometime over the summer, this little black um, stable mate, and he actually came out kind of cute, but um, he was pretty much solid black, so not too much, like, not that hard, and I like put like a little marking somewhere on him. I think I put like a marking on his face. But I thought that I would just take you guys along for the journey. I want to try and make her as nice as possible. Uh, I know some tips and tricks of everything. I'm using the little um, acrylic pod things from uh, Briar along with their little paintbrush, but I also have some other ones to use. Uh, and we're just gonna have some fun with it and see how she turns out and you guys get to see her progress and see how much I don't know that much about customizing. So this definitely isn't a video to really be like following along if you wanna like do a professionally nice job of it, but uh, it's just like how I do it for fun and it comes out decently and just entertaining. I'm not looking for like advice on it. I mean, if you'd like to tell me, like feel free. I probably won't paint another horse again until like next year. But uh, yeah, let's just have some fun with her. So I already took one of the paint pods and put a little bit of black in it because it was kind of a light, lighter bay or brown than I wanted it to be. So we are just going to take this and just start off with a base coat. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Sorry the lighting's so bad. It's raining outside right now and it's just not gonna work for me. But I just got a base coat down pretty much with the brown. I'll probably do two more layers of the acrylic. I don't know, just so where it's like smooth enough. And then I'd like to add some shading using some um, pastels because that usually just looks nice and we could just like get the black like in there to put some shading definition. I don't know and then still very unsure about markings but we'll see what happens with that I really don't know so he did actually or she she dried quite um darker than I thought that she was going to which is actually happy about because I wanted her to be darker like the darkest bay I can get her so I guess the paint goes on pretty light it looks the same on camera but uh then it comes off a little I don't know uh, it dry kind of uneven. Sorry, the lighting's so weird. I'm sitting right next to my window. But I think once I get a few more layers on, it'll look good. I also know I probably should combine the paint with water so there's less bubbles in it. I'm pretty sure somebody told me that once. So I might end up doing that it's just so she looks a little bit nicer because we're really trying to get as close to an LSQ custom as we can. Will it happen? Probably not. That takes years of worth work. Ugh, I can't talk. Um, I don't think any artist should be calling their customs LSQ, uh, unless they've actually been proven to be LSQ, which there are tons that are, so, you know. But yeah, let's go get a second layer on her. Okay, so here's how layer two is looking. I shouldn't have closed my windows because you could actually see him, but it was blinding me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Just doing this for fun. Pretty sure I said this before. But, I don't know, I feel like there's gonna be brush marks, but it might just be the brush I'm using. So I might actually switch to the brush that Briar, like, provides with it, because I'm pretty sure I basically used that whole one to uh, paint that black horse that I painted from their stable mate sets, and, like, it was pretty, like, you couldn't tell, like, there was brush marks. I don't know, we're gonna see um, where that takes us, and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I might paint more tonight, not really sure. Okay, happy day three. This is kind of what we're working with right now. I didn't put another layer of paint on. I'm not painting the tail, by the way, because I'm 
making it black at the end because it's going to be a bay um, but let's put her under the light you guys can see like the brush strokes um so I think I'm going to try and uh, make the acrylic like wet it down a little bit and use um this brush instead of the brush that I was using because when I use this on the black horse that I did there was like no brush marks at all I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, day four. I think that's what we're at. Um, okay. So she is still a little brush strokey and there is like some parts where it's not it's not like the same color, I guess. So I didn't realize how much I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do one more layer but then I have my pastels here and I was just gonna start like adding in darker shading all right day I want to say five or four I'm not really sure but here's what we're working with or the paint is it's just not gonna be perfect and I've kind of just accepted that at this point so we're just gonna go in and start shading her up so i have some black pastels here and i'm just going to be scraping some off i already have it all over my fingers awesome uh and then just kind of putting it in where like the muscling is and where there would usually be darker shading and i'm gonna kind of hope the best for that so we'll just be scraping some off put that down there and then I'm just taking like a little fluffy brush and we're just gonna start kind of patting that in. I debated whether or not I should spray her down before I start doing this, but I think we're just gonna end up doing, just going right in because too late now, right? So I'm pretty much just like patting it in and then kind of blowing away the excess. I like did a full pastel custom at some point. Not really sure where, well no, I do know where she is. She's somewhere, but um, or he, I think it was a boy. But I just don't really remember all the technique of it. And I remember I watched a video on how to make a chestnut one and it came out a uh, Palomino. So not sure how I messed up there, but like, it happened, so we're just gonna accept it. Okay, so you can more see here just like the black shading in it. I think I'm gonna add a bit more. Basically gonna like do the same thing. Like you could just see like where like everywhere is like a little bit darker. That's kind of what we're going for. I also do have this brown pastel along with all of these, but those won't help me out right now. Which I'm not sure if I should like add to some place, maybe add some like highlight because I think it's gonna come off a little bit darker. So we'll see where we go with that. Okay, I was gonna leave it, but we're adding that brown in because I started doing it. I was like, oh, I should probably show them what I'm doing because the whole point of this video is that I'm showing you how I'm doing this little custom. So I just kind of started adding it like to his back and like down his tummy a little bit. And I kind of like in the way that it's looking. Uh, maybe I'll, I don't know, like it just like adds more like color variation, but it is very, very similar to the color that he already is. So it's really not adding that much. I honestly probably should have done them all in pastels. I actually started this horse in pastels, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you could see that in the beginning of the video that like he had some brown on him. But nonetheless, here we are. So I'm just deciding to get a lot done today. So I'm going to add his black mane and tail and I'll catch you whenever I start doing some markings and such. Okay, mane and tail done. I might go in and do another layer. I'm probably gonna have to. Okay guys, so I have his um, black mane and tail painted as well as putting just little black dots on his eyes and now it is on to the markings. So I've decided that I'm going to make him kind of a portrait of a horse I used to ride a lot when I was younger. I did two full show seasons on him, like would not be the rider I am today, the horse I am today, the rider I am today without that horse. So uh, we're going to do a little portrait of him he just recently passed away and he was just like literally one of my favorite horses ever 
Uh, his name is Dublin, and this is what he looks like. So he has a little star and snip, and then two little socks in the back. So we're gonna try and do that. And his hoof looks a little difficult, but I'm really gonna try. Okay, this is what he's looking like with the snip and little star. And then I did paint his front hooves and then just the whites on the back. And I think I'm going to try and paint the back hooves now. This is how I figure out how to make the hooves dry. Okay guys, we are officially done with my little Dublin custom. So I added the little black detail on his hoof, which was like basically the hardest part because I really didn't want to mess it up. There honestly could have been a lot more detail in him, but I just did not feel comfortable doing it because it was extremely difficult just with more detailing on the hooves and um just like on his nose he had like some gray areas like towards like his nostril that looked really cool and like honestly maybe i will get like a good custom of him done one day but in a more like traditional scale or classic even but probably traditional because i don't really collect classics but yeah uh let's go show this guy off we're gonna try and do a little photo shoot edit type thing and then i'll be back to sign off I hope that you guys enjoyed checking out this little guy's process of how he came to be. Uh, again, I am not a artist at all. Uh, this is just for fun, but this just proves that anybody could take some time and make a little stew for me. Uh, honestly, those little kits that Briar gets uh, sells that are like the surprise bag customizing ones are a really great way to start out and just have some fun. It's something to do and it's not that um you know expensive so i encourage you guys all to go check that out and get some of your own and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the process let me know if you guys have been doing any customizing during this whole quarantine make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed comment whatever and most importantly make sure to subscribe if you already haven't all right i hope you guys all have a great day and most importantly stay fabulous bye